Everyone worked long, hard days over the next week. We all knew our crazy time limit, which made even the smallest delays seem massive. When we first ordered the dumpster, we expected the size would be adequate. And then because of the overhead wires, they couldn't get the dumpster that we had ordered into the area that was available. So we had to have that one go away, order another one. We lost a whole day and a half. And in the meantime, all of the garbage was piling up. Hey, John, I thought that dumpster was coming today. It came, but it was too big. And we got to get this stuff out of here. This is a mess. Hey, I mean, we got no room to work whatsoever. Our new shorter dumpster finally made it, and we had to move fast because John was picking up Lilia the day after tomorrow. I could tell when Dorothy was here, she really inspired John to declutter his life. Today is the day to see if he can pull it off. Let me keep this because this is old, old memory. Like, well, you don't want smokers in the house, do you? So this is still good. It's copper. We just have to clean it up. I mean, it's made out of real copper. And it's only got two legs, but it needs three. I can cut this up and it'll work fine. I mean, it's it's a Mexican thing. I mean, do you want it? The Mayan calendar's here. Do it's gonna it? end. The world's gonna end. I gotta keep it. Are this. we keeping it? Yeah, in case it doesn't end. For the most part, John was really good about letting go of stuff he didn't need anymore. And before you knew it, the mess was gone. The sound of beauty, right? That's music to yeah, my ears. That's mine too, mine too. It was great to see John working so hard to put everything in its place for his mom. And he was so proud of his new organizing skills. It was so exciting to see beautiful new items being delivered, but the old house didn't always want to make it easy on us. And with the ticking clock, Every trip back to the store for more parts meant there was less of a chance we would be ready for Lilia's surprise. Mother loves her independence like everyone does. She loves the security and the feeling of her own home. Lifeline is a personal response system and it allows someone to continue to live in their home that might otherwise have to go to an assisted care facility of some type. Mother doesn't want to bother anyone or do anything that she herself could do. That is empowering the senior and making them feel in control of their life. Well, I would not feel comfortable with my mother living by herself three hours from me if she didn't have the lifeline. Phillips Lifeline with Auto Alert can automatically place the call for help if it detects a fall, even if you cannot push the button yourself. Phillips Lifeline with Auto Alert is the most widely adopted fall detection technology in the United States. Call 1-855-428-6524 to order your free safety guides and get information on Phillips Lifeline. Call right now. We had one more day before John was to bring Lilia home, and I wanted to get a glimpse of the brand new bathroom. Oh, this is not going well. Where's Mark? Mark? Right here. Yes. We have a problem. What's the problem? We've got deliveries of tiles and, and all the equipment for the bathroom, and that's not ready. We're so crushed for time right now. We need one day would be beautiful. Okay. Honestly, one day would be excellent for us. If we had it, we'd be able to finish it. I mean, I'm sure. John, we have an issue with the tile in the bathroom. Can you delay your mom coming for at least half a day? John was able to get his brother to delay his business trip by one day, which meant we got 24 more precious hours before John brought Lilia home. When you have so much going on all over the house at the same time, even projects that seem as simple as replacing the carpet can be difficult. One of the marvelous things about doing this work with the elderly is the afterglow I feel when a project has been completed and the people that you've worked with or worked for are happy. The community in this case was happy. But what I love most is that we're going back to old fashioned values, community helping, community members, families helping families, individuals seeing that there's a problem and finding solutions. I think this is how we can, as a nation, 
move forward and deal with the elder tsunami that's heading this way. When we come back, Lilia is in for a big surprise. Elder financial fraud is on the rise, and it has become a huge problem for seniors and their families and caregivers. Many seniors have a good credit rating and a nest egg of assets and money, which make them a primary target for the criminals attempting to commit financial fraud. Some examples of senior financial fraud include foreign lottery scams, calling scams, false investments, and the grandparent scam in which a would-be thief pretends to be a child or a grandchild in financial trouble. To receive your free copy of Dr. Marion's Guide to Elder Fraud and our Home Safety Guide, call 1-855-428-6524 right now. That's 100% free with no obligation and you can receive free information about getting Philips Lifeline service working for you. 